Yeah, I see it's recording now. Sweet. Look at us, teamwork. Okay, so so yeah, so definitely using the product. I mean, I think for all of us, hairstylists especially, we're like tactile learners. We gotta do it to learn it, to cement the information. So that's gonna be your opportunity to do that when you guys get this product in your hands for sure. But with this call, you're gonna be set up for success with all the information you need once you get to use the product. So this is the launch of Botanical Repair. Um, I keep joking that it's coming during Libra season because I'm a Libra, so September 27th. Um, is launch date officially you guys will probably get it uh, a little bit sooner than that because that's typically what ends up happening um, but we're super excited for this uh, launch it's my birthday launch my birthday is the 24th of September <laughs> so you know it's just all about me right no uh, but I've, I've been saying that we this has been such a hard secret to keep because it was supposed to launch this summer and now we pushed it back and so I'm so excited to finally be able to share this with you guys because the technology is really incredible and always with the mission in mind um, I know that when we think about botanical repair and we think about this Your sound went out a little bit, Eva. All right, while well, Ava um, deals with technology at large, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna wait for her to come back. Pull this up. One thing I want you guys to do, and I'll share my screen here. Sorry, the wonders of Zoom, right? I didn't believe it. I was uh, so astonished by the data. <laughs> Think about a group of people all crossing hands. They're just really hard to break apart. And that's how our technology works inside the hair. Bond building can be done with synthetic ingredients, but ours is plant powered. We believe in the power of nature. Love it. Still gives me the chills when I watch it. Just super cool. And one of the things I wanted to speak to with the, the mission is just this synthetic versus plant-based technology, which is a huge point of difference for us uh, with this launch as well. So here's what's coming new, uh, botanical repair. And I want you guys to feel confident going through this and getting all the information that we need on it. And feel free to chime in and ask questions at any point um, as well. So, you know, I think that as colorists um, and, and professionals, we can really understand the need for this product line, um, but just kind of maintaining this, staying on trend with what our consumers are looking for, this is the number one benefit sought by all ethnicities among US millennials and Gen X consumers. So they're looking for something that's gonna allow them to have re uh, repair, as well as thinking about, you know, that they don't wanna compromise the damage they're already doing to their hair, whether it's physical or chemical, they don't want to stop doing that but they still want to have healthy strong hair right and this is what we can offer them with botanical repair um, it is growing across all channels 
Um, and there it says it right at the bottom of the slide. Women are unwilling to give up damage inducing behavior. So we got to just be like at peace with that and think about what we can offer them professionally uh, from a beta as well. So when we think about damaged hair, there's all these different sources. And I think it's important to educate our guests, you know, what they're doing every day that this product can help them with. So physical damage, brushing, detangling, if they have extensions, traction styling, anything that's like tugging or pulling on the hair, right? That's kind of just physical damage uh, from usage heat damage, blow drying, flat iron curling. We're usually pretty familiar with that. They typically know they're damaging their hair when they're doing that as well. You know, pretty common. Um, and then chemical damage, coloring, bleaching, perming, relaxing, keratin straightening, as much as with especially Aveda, we have very like minimal, uh, you know, damage when we speak to like the impact on a hair, but it's still doing something, right? It's still changing the chemical construct in some way. And so it's leaving it different than it was when they first came in. So we have to be mindful of that. Um, and I think the one that we forget about the most is the environmental damage, UV exposure, humidity, hard water, um, all of these things that just the exterior layer of the hair is exposed to every day, whether we like it or not, right? And so these are all of the things that we're going to address with the tanical repair as well. Speaking a bit more, kind of just like tying into our mission statement and the video that I showed you guys, everything about this is mission aligned, starting with the packaging as well. So we've got um, our bottles and jars made from 100% post-consumer cycled material, um, eliminating the use of virgin petrochemicals um, and plastics in these forms, something that we're striving to improve with every single launch with Aveda. And so super proud of that 100% number uh, there with the packaging with this launch. There's our guy, Guy. He's our, uh, our perfumer out of Ada, or part of our perfumer team. He's actually moving back to Australia, which I'm very sad about. But we have an amazing aroma team um, in-house at Aveda, which is super unique to a beauty brand, especially a smaller one like ours. Um, but we utilize always 100% naturally derived essential oils, certified organic in all of our products. Um, so I was actually, oh shoot, I forgot. I was going to make you guys do a quiz, but um, I'm going to make you guys guess some of these, but it, when you guys, I, you haven't smelled it yet. So when you smell it, I get this like lilac -y aroma. It's a very beautiful floral aroma. Um, but what you're actually smelling are the top notes of this essential oil blend, which are ylang ylang, rose and marjoram. Um, and it's just beautiful. I just, uh, even when I got my box the other day, opening it up, I hadn't even opened the bottles yet. And I just got this beautiful fragrance from the, uh, aromas of this product and I am obsessed with them. But we've also got some really uh, cool new certified organic ingredients that we're utilizing for specifically like the conditioning of the hair with this product. So infusing uh, moisture, condition, and shine. And the three new ones are going to be Sacha Inchi, Avocado, and Green Tea. So these three are new and exclusive to Botanical Repair. Uh, and what's interesting, interesting about all three of them is that we speak to the extraction process um, of those essential oils, which is all cold pressed. Um, this is more eco-friendly. It's also getting the maximum benefit out of these oils. Uh, and I think it's really interesting to learn about, you know, utilizing more eco-friendly processes to even access our essential oils. Um, Sancha Inchi is an indigenous plant native to the Peruvian Amazon forest. It's hand harvested, um, so ethically harvested as well in, in support of this Peruvian community. And it's rich in omega-3 oils. So this is a really great source for hydration for this product. Um, that's going to really marry well with the with the damage repair that we're seeing with the product as well. Avocado oil, I was going to make you guess this one because like avocado is one of those ones that people mix it up, they put it on their face, they put it on their hair, um, but we're using it in this very um, specific way, cold pressed, um, integrated into formulation, also super rich in omega-9, omega-7, monosaturated on fats, um, which is going to help with the condition of the hair. And then green tea, for you colorists on the call, you may know we always talk about green tea beans this patented uh, ingredient in our hair color. Now we're using the green tea oil, um, which is going to uh, add to this kind of trifecta blend of certified organic essential oils uh, in this product. We're going to talk about what specifically in the hair this is going to address as well. Sustainably manufactured. This is, I, I don't know about you guys. I always have guests that love to ask these kind of questions or they're super interested when I share these, you know, points of difference about Aveda, especially when it comes to our manufacturing and the fact that we're hundred percent wind power. So we use these renewable energy credits to offset any negative um, CO2 emissions into the environment. And so uh, I also love the image of the solar field here because we did just install a solar field onto the Blaine headquarters campus uh, in Minnesota, which is going to 
help make our just standard energy usage of the building um, completely sustainable. So these are really uh, important things to factor. It's not just about the manufacturing. It's about the trucks that we use to deliver the product. It's about any sort of CO2 emissions for, from our aerosols. Those are all factored into our wind power credits uh, that we make sure we're offsetting any negative impact from the company. And that same thing goes with botanical repair. And just a little look-see here of everything that you guys are going to get. So on the left-hand side, we've got the retail products. And on the right-hand side, we have our professional products only. So our steps one, two, and three. So what you're going to see in retail, and I'm going to speak a little to about like what's staying, what's going, anything that's changing. Uh, on the retail side, I'm trying to think now, just make sure nothing is going away in retail with the launch of this product. So all five of these products are just an addition to what we're offering for retail. So for your guests that are still obsessed with damage remedy, it's not going away. Um, we are just adding this lineup with our newest technology and maybe this is their new favorite. So it's a conversation that you can have and based on the recommendations for your guest. We've got botanical repair strengthening shampoo. We've got botanical repair strengthening conditioner. We've got our intensive masks. Those are going to come in light and rich. So light being for your fine to medium hair types, rich being for your medium to coarse. And then we also have a leave-in treatment as well for their leave-in conditioner. So those five are going to live on the retail shelf. And then on the right-hand side, when we think about professional, there are going to be a few changes with this launch. So we're still going to use that botanical repair strengthening shampoo at the back bar. You guys will have a liter size for that. You can use that at the shampoo bowl. Um, and then we're also going to have this equalizing primer. So if you're like me and you already loved equalizing solution, which is our pre-color uh, pre treatment that's evening out the porosity of the hair, it's making the hair in even better condition for the beautiful color end results that we see, uh, equalizing primer is going to be replacing equalizing solution. It has our newest technology. It has our botanical repair ingredients. Um, and so once you, you know, use up your equalizing solution, once you run out of that, you're going to move right into utilizing your equalizing primer and essentially utilizing it in the same way, spraying it directly on the hair for a pre-treatment pre prior to any color service. That's step one. Step two is going to be your additive. This is something brand new. It's coming in um, as a new SKU. It's not replacing or eliminating anything. It's something that we've never had before. We're going to be usually utilizing number two as our hair strengthening additive. So this is the product that would go directly into the hair color product um, for bond repair and bond like multiplying technology and all these magical things that it does. Um, and then also we can utilize it for spraying directly onto the hair if they were getting a standalone service and they weren't receiving color that day. When I go through the step-by-steps, that'll probably make a little bit more sense. Lastly, we've got step number three. This is the bond activator that's going to go on their hair last um, during their professional treatment. And it's tested and made for all hair types so that it also does come in a light and a rich. Light being for medium to fine hair, rich being from medium to coarse hair. So really, you know, analyzing the hair, feeling the texture type and density and making the recommendation based on the, the actual like feeling of the hair strand itself, right? It's not whether they have like thin or thick hair, it's what the hair strand um, is as far as fine, medium or coarse. This uh, activator comes in those two options and it is replacing your damage remedy botanical hair therapy penetrating protein, say that five times fast. Um, that's the brown bottle that we were utilizing um, to spray into the hair for a professional treatment previously. Dry Remedy Botanical Hair Therapy hair therapy Penetrating Moisture in the blue bottle is staying. So that will be your professional service option for moisture-driven services, professional services behind the chair. Um, but Botanical Repair Activators are going to be your professional service for damage. Uh, and we'll speak to the step-by-steps of all of these in a moment. All right, what does this do for us here? Key benefits. Um, some of these claims and just instant, uh, like little like notes that you can have on the fly to share with your guests. What does this product do? Why is it so great? Um, one of the things that we really talk about here is this three layer hair repair technology, which I'm gonna speak to you of. 
Um, but this is the newest technology on the market, and it also has a super tiny molecule. Um, the, the scientists tell me that it's smaller than the molecule of anything currently out there. So it's driving deeper into the hair, and it's hitting all of these layers that are su super important to the overall strength of the hair as well. So what it's going to do is instantly transform the hair, leaving it visibly healthier, softer, and shinier in just one use. So the results are going to be immediate. You're going to see it right away when you use it. Your guests are going to see it right away when they use it. It's multiplying bonds in the inner cortex, strengthening and repairing your hair. It's formulated for all hair types and textures. So we saw that um, light and rich, um, allowing us to customize for our guests. It's safe for color treated and chemically processed hair so everybody can use it. It's also sulfate cleanser free, silicone free, which is a huge point of difference when you look at the other um, competitors on the market, vegan and cruelty free, super important. And what's the most amazing of it, about it to me is that it's minimum 93% naturally derived. Um, so that's really how we've been speaking to our percentage naturally derived uh, moving forward is not no longer up to because up to could be like zero to 100, right? Um, but if we say minimum 93, then we know that it's no less than that number. And that's for the whole category of botanical repair. So some of the products alone are higher than 93% naturally derived. So just like looking at, you know, on the left hand side, this is like the world without botanical repair. And on the right hand side, this is what we're bringing to the table, right? And so before this launch, not just in the world of Aveda, but everywhere, repair has generally been focused on the surface level of the hair. Um, and we're gonna talk about this three layer hair repair that specifically focused on the cortex, the cuticle, and the F layer. We've got bond multiplying technology that's all synthetic everywhere else. And at Aveda, we've developed a plant-derived multiplying molecule superior to synthetic performance. Um, and that plant-derived element to me is just such a huge point of difference that we can do this naturally with Aveda. And that's why our chemists are so freaking mind-blowing. I love them. Um, products were not clean or green previously. Uh, Aveda has reinvented damage repair with this high performance, naturally derived, silicone free, sulfate cleanser free, vegan and cruelty free formulas. This is stuff that I love to share with my guests when they're curious about why Aveda is different and why I choose this brand. Uh, products didn't work previously for all hair types and textures. I was a little shooketh when I started looking at other lines and I was like, wait, they only have a one size fits all option for everybody. Um, the fact that we're able to customize for different types and textures, I think is huge. Um, sharing with your guests how you're customizing it for them. This product has been tested on all hair types and textures. Results are guaranteed. On the left hand side, the last one there, leading professional salon services for damage repair process for approximately 15 minutes when we look at everything else on the market. Aveda's professional service is formulated to achieve results in 10 minutes. So when we talk about the processing time for these professional products today, 10 minutes is what we're looking for as far as how long it needs to stay on the hair as well. So this is time saving and revenue driving damage repair. I'm into it. Okay, so I've been talking about this three layer a bunch and, and here it finally is. Um, so when we talk about the three layers, if we talk about the innermost layer, um, that's gonna be the cortex. So that's where that tiny, tiny molecule is gonna drive the deepest. And that's where your bond multiplying is happening, right? So when we think about strengthening the hair, multiplying bonds, leaving the hair stronger than it was before. And, and I'll tell you guys the claim already, it's five times stronger after one professional service. And that's where this is really happening is inside the cuticle. It's plant power. Um, they're being very, very secretive about what the plants are. I know there's patents out for these uh, plants specifically, but there's a picture of corn there. So I'm assuming there's some corn involved with this process. Um, but it is 100% plant derived when we think about the ingredients specifically to this bond multiplying. Um, and so that's where it's happening within, right? But when we think about the cuticle of the hair, the green tea, the avocado, and the sacha inchi that we sp spoke to earlier, that's where those benefits are living. So it's a nourishing macro blend of those three ingredients that's smoothing the cuticle, and that's going to help in just like detangling the hair and preventing from a lot of that physical breakage that we think of, right? That when we're talking about the brushing, the, the tension styling, all of these different things that add a lot of stress to the, uh, deep, the physical damage of the hair, that nourishing green blend is going to help with it. Then the F layer. I did not know very much about the F layer before this launch, and I found out it's because most of us don't have it. It's that outermost layer of your hair that once your hair has gone through enough uh, environmental, physical, and chemical damage, it goes away and it doesn't come back. Like we can't regrow it, we can't replace it. A lot of times we're utilizing styling products to help replace the benefits that our F layer would give us because it's typically addressing like frizz, it's fighting humidity, it's helping with smoothness. It's just kind of creating that like 
first line layer uh, that we have of defense, but we don't have it anymore. I'm going to assume most of us on the call don't, right? It's probably like children's hair has it. I don't even know. Basically made it seem like nobody's got it because once you get exposed to that environmental damage, it starts to wither away. Um, what we are doing with this product is that we're mimicking the F layer. So it's like we have it back again and we're getting this like first line of defense that we didn't have before. So it's the plant-based complex of corn and coconut that's mimicking the benefits of that hair, hair's outermost layers. And it's not like F layer, like it's a bad word. Um, F is for fatty acids. So um, that's what it, I was like, what does F stand for? It stands for fatty acid layer. Um, and it's going to help protect hair from humidity um, and water and all of those things that just can make the hair more fragile. So I like to think of this replacement in the three layer hair repair as your uh, environmental damage protection. So it goes environmental, then it goes physical, and then it goes chemical on the inside there. So it's really hitting all of those different points uh, that we experience when we think about damage to the hair, and it's creating those three layers of defense for us kind of cool, right? So then when we get into uh, how this works, I was, th this. if you guys are like not able to see this right now, you'll, you'll check it out on the recording. There's this uh, just cool little image of all of the different layers of the hair and how the chemistry of this works. Um, and the plantarized bond, bond multiplying molecule goes below the surface, penetrating the cortex to multiply bonds within and across the hair keratin cortex. So it's providing superior strengthening and reinforcing of the hair integrity at the core. And that's what's creating this five times stronger end result that we're going to see. So in the video I showed you guys, I wanted to show you that because he speaks to like that activity that you do where everybody's starting to like cross arms and, and kind of hold on to each other and create this really strong force field and how when you do that team building activity if any of you guys have done it before and they say okay like pull apart it's virtually impossible right you created this like intensive strong field of of cross bonds that you would imagine happening with this product so if before in the bond repair world what we were creating were ladders reattaching bonds that were broken down think about botanical repair as scaffolding it's creating this interlaced, very strong, stable uh, rebuilding of bonds and multiplication of bonds within the hair cortex to leave the hair five times stronger. So the technology in this is incredible and the fact that it's plant derived uh, to me is, is extremely impressive as well. So there are a few more plants to call out. Um, we, uh, I kind of repeated this, I might just fly through this already, but we talked about the avocado, green tea, and sacha inchi, but the one that we didn't talk about was the coconut and the F layer. So again, just always driving it back to plant-based ingredients. So on the screen are some claims, if you can see it, about some people's results. I just want to share my own kind of personal experience with this, and I actually haven't told you this one yet, Molly, but I did, like, I have some clients that I still do at home, and I had these, like, I'll show you guys, they give me us these, like, little white bottles that have nothing on them, right, and these are, like, our tester bottles before final launch, and I was sneakily, like, using it on my clients, and I was, like, tell me how this feels, it's, like, something that's new, like, let me know, and they literally have been knocking down on my door being, like, how do I get this product, I want to buy it immediately, and I was, like, well, you're gonna have to wait, and then when we push back the launch, I was, like, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, uh, but... <laughs> But now I'm like, okay, end of September, guys, like you can get this. Um, it's going to be called Botanical Repair. It's in a green bottle. It's amazing. So they're super excited. Everyone that I've used it on is, is super excited to be able to get their hands on this. Um, and I was like, no, you can't use my discount. You have to go to your beta salon to get it. <laughs> um, but they're super, like, it, it was just amazing to see just after one use how much people really wanted to get their hands on this and loved it and saw a difference, especially even in the shampoo itself. Like, the shampoo has this great lather, even though it's sulfate free. I'm like, this is awesome. And it leaves your hair feeling soft even after the shampoo is done. So, you guys will start to see the effects immediately, and I'm excited for you to use it. So let's go through some of these um, professional treatments as well. So we're gonna have two different options for the professional treatments. The first one is called um, the botanical repair treatment or the professional treatment, or I've been calling it like the standalone, right? And so this is something that you can add to a cut 
um, or a haircut. It doesn't need to be a color service that a guest is booking to receive botanical repair. And it's just going to add 10 minutes on to whatever time you have scheduled for your guests. And that's going to be that 10 minutes that it needs to process um, with the activator. But we also have a color treatment as well. So if your guest is getting color, we can give them botanical repair color treatment. That's also going to be an add-on service um, and also only going to add 10 minutes on top of the color service already booked. And they're just going to look a little differently um, in the sense of that number two product especially is going to live in different places of the hair. So I want to take you guys through that as well. So finally, I find the slide where it says five times stronger. So this is where the five times stronger is living is in the professional service itself. So obviously home care is important. And you know, if, whoops, if botanical repair is the best option for their home care, then they can use that. Um, but I'll leave that. Oh, am I frozen again or am I back Molly? I was frozen for a second. I can still see you. Yep. Okay, good. I must have froze for a second there. I also flung my headphone somewhere, so that could have been that as well. Okay, so this is the professional product, five times stronger after one treatment. This is where the five times stronger claims is gonna live is when we're doing this professional product with the guests, right? And we're using these one, two, three products that are gonna be professional only as we utilize them. Cool. So I want to just go through the step by steps because this is really what's important for you guys. But when we look at these uh, products, we already introduced you to them. Let's look at how they live in the professional service. Um, I'm going to kind of skip through this. We already kind of talked about it. But look at that. The primer is 97% naturally derived. Remember I told you guys that some of them are going to be more than that. So this will just be good um, for you guys if you need some points just to remind yourself on what these products are. So we'll make sure you guys have the recording of this so you can screenshot it or maybe just take a screenshot right now while we're on it. So that one is the primer. Then we've got number two, the additive, 93% naturally derived. This is the one that's either gonna get sprayed onto the hair or applied into a hair color product. However, there's one hair color product that we don't wanna be using really probably any of this category with. Any guesses as to what hair color category we would not use botanical repair with? It's like the one that's just, on its own in a world of chemistry. I see Dawn moving her mouth. I can't hear you. <laughs> Did you say vibrance, Dawn? <laughs> vibrance is the, is the one. So vibrance being a direct dye, like we actually want the hair to be kind of damaged to put it on, right? We want that cuticle nice and open. And so what happens with the primer is we start to close it down again, right? We're filling in the potholes, which is what we want the hair to fill in with vibrance when we're utilizing it. So vibrance is the one that we kind of like don't recommend utilizing uh, the professional treatment with this, but they could use it, you know, at some other point in their hair experiences with you, just vibrance, you know, we kind of want the hair to be a little roughed up, a little bit more of an open cuticle to utilize it. So that's, the, you'll see it's not listed on here. That's the only one that's missing. And then the activator, we have the light and the rich. So the light being 97% naturally derived, it mentions it on here. So feel free to screenshot, find the medium hair types is what we're looking for. Talks about this hydrophobic layer that mimics the F layer. This stuff is amazing, guys. It's going to feel more of like a like a deep conditioner cream. Um, so you're going to deliver it either. Uh, we're going to talk about this a little bit more in a second, but either with your hands or you could even use a bowl and a brush. Um, it's not going to be like the spray of the botanical penetrating protein that we were used to using. It's more of a cream based delivery. And then we've got the rich, which is 95% naturally derived. This is going to be for your medium. Um, I don't like that it says medium to thick. I would say medium to coarse hair, right? Because I'm going to change that. Thick is more about the amount of hair you're having. You know, when you have that guest, she's like, I have a lot of hair, but each hair strand is like really fine and skinny, right? So that's what we're focusing on is the feeling of the hair strand itself when we're thinking about which one's going to be best for our guest. Hey, Ava. Yeah. Sorry. Um, just to go back to number two. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally. It comes through, and I've been trying to you know, give this information to everyone that I drop kits off. Yeah. It's going to come with a pump outside of the bottle on the mm. uh, right-hand side of the kit. Um, and it is, uh, you put the pump in and you pump it into color or you pump it into a spray bottle to apply 
um, on the standalone treatment. So I always, I'm trying to like keep everyone as square on that point as possible um, because we've had a little confusion. So I want to make sure that there's no confusion before you put it on. Love that. Thank you for that. Yeah. There's a little pump. It's going to go on your number two when you guys utilize that and we can go through like what, how and when we're going to pump it out. Cool. So that's where we're at here. So this is um, usage and application. This is going to be on, you know, we always give you guys a little poster to hang up in the dispensary as far as just like immediate points of difference and usage. So this is where this is going to live. However, there is a more detailed step by step that literally has like a picture of the step and a written out explanation of what you're going to do if you want something a little bit more detailed. Plus there's going to be videos as well. But if we think about just like basic quick like reminder of the usage of the product on the left hand side is that botanical repair treatment. That's the standalone that a guest could get if they were not receiving a hair color service. Um, so a, a shampoo, I'm sorry, a shampoo and blow dry or a haircut service, right? They could uh, add this on to that, or they could come in for just like a standalone botanical repair treatment that would probably include a blow dry service as well. So however you guys have it set up in your salon. But when we utilize this type of treatment, there's only going to be three products that you're going to need. You're gonna need your botanical repair strengthening shampoo, you're going to need your number two, the Botanical Repair Professional Hair Strengthening Additive. And then you're going to need your, your activator, the Botanical Repair Professional Bond Activator, but you're going to choose light or rich depending on your guest. So you're just going to need one. So three products total. Once you're done your consultation, you're ready to perform the service. You take your guest over to the shampoo bowl. You're going to shampoo her first. She's already going to be like, wow, I love it. Love the aroma. It's amazing. It's great. Right? So you're going to shampoo her hair. You're, then I personally always like to wring out that excess water because even that water molecule can start to like block or dilute down the effects of anything, you know, color, professional service that you're doing after. So after her shampoo, I would recommend taking a towel and just squeezing that excess water out and towel dry her nicely at the shampoo bowl. Once that's done, we're ready for step two. So we don't need any step one in this one because one's only for a color pretreatment. We're not doing color right now. So we're moving on to step two. With this treatment, you're going to pump step two into your spray bottle. I meant to grab it for you guys. The one that we already use for botanical hair therapy treatments, right? So you have that little spray bottle and it has the measurements on there for you. So you can either with the uh, pump, pump eight pumps into that bad boy, or you can like make sure it's measured up to 10 milliliters. So you'll see the 10 milliliter line on there. It's about half of the bottle, okay? So those are, that's just the recommended standard amount. It may adjust slightly based on length or thickness of hair, uh, but I've been using that amount and it's worked really well for most of my guests. Um, so once I have that weighed out or sorry, measured out into the pump, I'm going to spray that evenly onto the hair. So just like with botanical hair therapy, that spray bottle is going to break down that molecule even smaller so that the delivery of it on the hair is going to be at its max performance. So spray that product onto the hair evenly throughout. And then I like to comb it through to make sure it's evenly distributed and I'm just spraying it until my 10 milliliters is gone right now there's no pause before the next step step three the activator can now go directly on top of that so I'm going to choose my light on my rich depending on her texture type and density I'm going to use about 20 grams per service so you could weigh it out you could put it in a bowl with a brush I've just been like kind of weighing it out and then scooping it with my hands, applying it with my hands onto the hair like I would with a conditioner. And again, I like to comb it through with a wide tooth comb for even application as well. Once step three, the activator is applied, that's when you're going to time for 10 minutes. So you can set a timer, check your watch, um, whatever you need to do. And then when that time, 10 minutes is up, you can rinse that out. So we're just rinsing it out of the hair. Um, and what I love about it is it rinses super easily. It's not like I have to like work that product out of the hair or it's left greasy or anything like, you know, kind of build up feeling on the hair. It rinses really beautifully, really easy to rinse out of the hair. Just make sure it's evenly rinsed out and then she's good to go. Cool. So that's going to be the standalone service. Now, when we go into the color treatment, it's not like crazy different. It's pretty similar, um, but we're just utilizing the number two in a different way. Also, now that we're in a color treatment scenario, we can use our pre-color product, right? Our equalizing primer. So I like to use that equalizing primer prior to any step in the service. So let's do um, an example of, let's say a highlight service. Okay, we're just gonna use this as an example. So prior to her highlight, I could prime her hair. I usually like to spray it in 
while we're having a consultation, I'll go back, I mix up my lightener formula for her highlights. And then by the time I come back, it's pretty well dried into the hair. I don't feel like I need to like take a blow dryer and dry it in. Um, but if you felt like the hair was feeling too damp, you could do that. So once I come back, her hair already has the primer applied, just evenly sprayed all over. They recommend about 30 sprays. I can then do my highlight service. Um, and inside, within my highlight service, I'm now um, adding my number two additive into the color product itself. So at this point, it's gonna be my Enlightener product. For every 30 grams of Enlightener, so that's one scoop when we think about measuring it out, you're going to weigh in eight grams of number two additive. So I can put that directly into my product. It's not gonna change consistency. It's not gonna change timing. It's not gonna change performance. You don't need to adjust your developer or anything about your formulation. Um, it's just going to seamlessly go into your formula and perform the same way. So that's another thing I love about it. So I can put my number two directly into my product. Then I'm going to take her back to the shampoo bowl and I'm going to shampoo out the highlights when she's lifted to my desired level. Um, at this point, I might want to tone her. So this is going to be another opportunity for me to use the number two additive inside my color product. So after I've shampooed her, I'm going to squeeze out the water. I'm gonna spray my primer again because she's about to get another color service. I'm gonna to tone her hair with Demi Plus. I'm then in my 40 grams of Demi Plus, just standard application, I'm gonna add another eight grams of additive, okay? So put that in. So this is how she's receiving. Number two is not spraying it on the hair, it's through the color formulation or putting that, pro uh, that number two product inside the hair color. So we don't have to worry about any spraying of that product directly onto the hair. We're delivering number two through the color service. So again, in my toner, in my 40 grams of Demi Plus, I can add another eight grams of number two let my toner process as normal, shampooing that out with my botanical hip repair strengthening shampoo, squeeze it towel dry, get all that extra water out, and now I can move right into step three because she already had step two in her color service. I'm gonna finish the product with step three, my bond activator in either light or rich. I'm still gonna process that for 10 minutes. Um, so that's just gonna be the only thing that's adding extra time to my service that day is 10 minutes for my bond activator, and then I'm rinsing that out and then she's done. Cool. So when we're doing standalone, we're not doing color, we're spraying number two in the hair. When we're doing the color treatment, number two is going in the color service. So we don't need to spray it directly onto the hair for that service. We just move right into number three when we're ready for her last step for the activator and we let that sit on for 10 minutes. So we're in a kind of a weird time right now. So when we're thinking about what to do with 10 minutes, used to, I used to sometimes do a ritual during that time. Um, but now if we're not performing rituals, they can take a little nap. You can go to the bathroom, clean up your bowls, get ready for your next guest, see what's going on with your day, have a cup of coffee, whatever you need to do, right? Get ready for your next service and find whatever is going to be most efficient with your time. Cool. So like I said, there's step-by-steps written out for these. You're going to get that tip sheet. And then there's also really awesome um, videos as well that go through the different types of services. But for right now, do you guys have any questions as far as the steps of the um, Botanical Repair Professional Service? Y'all are way too quiet. Now no. it's your time to pick Ava's brain because this is going to transform your color and your client's hair services. I have a quick question. Um, yeah, what's up? Uh, this is kind of similar to, how do you compare this to Olaplex and um, Joico equalizing solution? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, so a few of the differences, it's, it's definitely living on the same level as far as like that world of bond repair. So if you are looking, to, if you're utilizing one of those products and you're looking to replace it with something that Aveda you know, has in our family of products, this is what would replace it. So the number two um, is really going to be similar to the additive that lives in like Olaplex, for example. Um, however, the difference is, is that I believe Olaplex's claims are two times stronger. So our five times stronger claim um, is a really strong point of difference with this launch. Um, it being the newest technology, it being tested on all hair types, um, so it's not one size fits all like the competitor products are in the market. And then the big one being just that it's mission aligned, it's all plant derived ingredients. So that's going to be a huge, um, you know, a distinction between this product and our competitor products currently on the market. But as far as what we're looking for it to deliver to the hair, this bond repair, the strengthening protection, 
Um, it's leaving the hair stronger, shinier, healthier as an end result, five times stronger with a professional product. Um, that's, that's what this product is doing for us when we think about what those other you know, competitors are doing as well. Another question, uh, in terms of damage repair and botanical color repair, how are we going to like kind of position this and selling? The mm -mm -mm. I think I have a slide for you on that. There it is. Um, so I just switched over. I'm not I sure guess. if you can see my screen to this slide. So this is going to be super helpful. I think this is something Molly could send out um, and have like posted somewhere in the salon if you guys need a, like, a little bit reminder. Um, but I think the biggest thing with a damage remedy versus botanical repair is damage remedy is helping protect the hair from damage and it is strengthening with quinoa protein, but it's not in the bond repair world. It's not making the hair uh, stronger necessarily. There's no claims on strength and it's not multiplying bonds like a, a botanical repair is. Is. Um, botanical repair is going to be the most up-to-date technology. It's going to have you know different options for different hair types. Um, here's the deal with this is that a lot of people love damage remedy and until we know we don't need it anymore we don't want to not offer it to our guests. So I think that having it on retail for guests that love it that's great if that's what they want to take home that's wonderful but we're going to introduce botanical repair in the professional services and it may be what they decide to use uh, next for home care or if they love rotational therapy they might be doing both right depending on the needs of the hair as well um, and so for now you know while guests still love damage repair we want to be able to offer it for them uh, but our newest technology lives within the botanical repair world and for somebody that's really experiencing extreme damage or utilizing you know like major chemical services on their hair botanical repair is going to give them that bond multiplying technology that they may need right whereas damage remedy might be more for somebody that just has like long hair that they want to keep healthy and strong and they're not really doing you know major cert like major chemical services or things like that to it so um, i think this chart for me it's been really helpful thinking about the differences of them um, as well but being new technology is probably the biggest point of difference i hope that helped with your myself question. um i think uh am i still muted no i can hear you uh i think that's a really great point eva louisa you know, when looking at the difference between damage remedy and botanical repair, Eva brings up a great point about the length. Um, so when you're dealing with people who have long hair, who want to keep it strong and healthy and help that grow out period, that's really going to be what it is. This is that whole um, range is going to be focused on that quinoa protein um, and, and providing strength from the outside, right? The, the problem that we see with, with damage, re and not a problem, but one of the, the obstacles for recommending uh, damage remedy is that not everybody can have protein applied to their hair. And so um, working with, with all hair types and you know knowing a pretty good segment of your clientele, your clientele has a multi-ethnic textured hair type. And so protein isn't great for that kind of hair, right? So we wanted to be able to have a, a system that was in place that was going to be beneficial, hyper beneficial to every hair type, whether you are a straight haired gal or guy um, or all the way up to a 4C. We wanted to create something that was going to, to work with all textures and, um, and needs. And so you're not going to see damage remedy go away anytime soon, but I do want you guys to get comfortable in the conversation and, and talking about how, you know, damage remedy is very much a cosmetic outside structural improvement system, whereas botanical repair is an internal hair, internal cortex, strength from within, you know, from within to without. So um, that's really where that this lies. And we'll be working with you on this in terms of how to address who gets what and who would benefit most from what, especially in terms of how to layer in Nutriplenish and that conversation between damage versus dehydration. Okay. Yeah, I think Perfect. that's for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking about like, I used to bleach my hair out like platinum and I would use the damage remedy mask and you know, it was good, like, till the next time I used it, you know, whereas I think botanical repair with the bond multiplying, it's a bit more like, 
I don't know, you know, it's like it's driving deeper in the hair strand and it's giving that repair over time. Um, I think when you guys start to use it, it'll help connect as well. I also thought it was really interesting thinking about like sulfate free and silicone free. So everything's called out on this sheet. If there's something specific that your guest is looking for, uh, these side by side, especially with Nutriplenish as well, can be kind of helpful in guiding your guests to the, to the right option for them as well. So we'll definitely make sure you get this resource too. Perfect. Any other questions? Kind of, it's kind of towards the end. I, I, I'll go through um, these products one more time, um, just to get familiar. If you're curious, what how much they cost in Canadian dollars? It's on here as well. <laughs> um, but the the, um, the 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 price point for them for retail um, all yes. lives on okay, this. That's it. Another cool. The treatment. Yeah. How much? Sure. Yeah, so for the professional treatment, um, you know, Aveda is helping us out with a recommendation of $25 for the add-on service of the professional treatment, and that's just a recommendation. So it could be based on what you guys are currently charging. I also have been talking about, you know, if you ever felt like your botanical hair therapy add-ons were a little low, this could be the time to maybe, you know, change the cost of that service um, and talk about it being updated, new product, a new technology, um, or if it's kind of living right where you think it should be, um, you know, $25 is recommended. You know, I live in New York City, so ours come, sometimes changes based off the recommendation that uh, Minneapolis makes, you know what I mean? Boston's probably different as well. So um, I would say go with what makes sense for your market. Um, Molly can also get you the cost per applications of these services if you want to take a look at that and think about what makes you know most sense for your salon. Um, but twenty-five dollars seems to be like a nice number that people don't really blink an eye at when it when it comes to having conversations about add-on services. Uh, this the numbers on this screen are specifically showing you the retail cost of each product that guests could buy and take home. Um, and I just want to call out with the intensive uh, strengthening mask. So that's the mask that they would use about once a week. Uh, in the shower, they leave it in for three to five minutes and then still rinse it out of the hair. Um, they are slightly different prices because the tub for the rich is a, a bit larger of a size. Um, so cost per app is still the same, but they're just adjusted based on the, the size of the product. And then we've got our leave-in treatment as well. And Louisa, I want you to make sure that when you're doing your pricing, Let's say someone comes in and they've got multiple processes that they're doing with their service and we're adding that that additive into multiple processes that you're looking at that as like potentially an extra color charge or something like that, because we know that um, you know, stylists are notorious for undercharging for some of this more professional stuff. So I want you to keep on top of, of dispense and, um, and, and costing it out to add, have a separate charge for those additional processes. So it's not $25 per process. It's that $25 or whatever you market price it to be, plus an additional charge for any additional processes. So basically, if we have a color and then we have a foil, and if you pump something in there and something there, so instead of 25, will be 50. No, no. So it would start at 25, and then let's say you maybe like a five dollar, like $5 ten dollars or that's something, cool. or five dollars okay. or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because I was kind of thinking about that. Like, if I had a guest that, for whatever reason, didn't want to do the whole professional service. Um, but maybe I still wanted to put the additive into the color. I would love personally like a charge for just additive, right? So maybe that's like additive. a $5 charge. Yeah. And then I can also add that onto my ticket if I'm doing like a crazy number of multiple bowls because it's a color correction or multi steps or things like that. Then I always have this kind of like additive add on that I can, you know, utilize when I'm thinking about how much color product I'm using. You can literally call yeah. it a booster or something, you know, it, we don't have to, you know, call it out as an additive, but I, I think it's really important to address that. Yeah, or like okay. a number two. So basically, Eva, if you, you, you have a bleach here and a bowl of a color here, so you put $5 and $5, correct? Because you're using it in two different Yeah, uh, theoretically, yeah. Okay. I mm -hmm. mean, to let you know, the cost per app, of that is pretty low. Um, so take a look at that and decide like what, what you think is fair. Um, it, you could also maybe say when it's, once you're over three bowls, we start adding on the additive, you know, I, we, I would let, let, leave it up to you guys, but I feel like um, 
I would almost do it like per step in the service. So it's like, I would chart like your first one's included like your highlight but then when i get into the toner like that's an additional right or mm -hmm. when it comes to like retouch color bonds or things like that um but i think it's like 20 cents cost per app it's it's actually pretty affordable when we think about like how we're using the, the number two product specifically perfect okay because i also feel like you don't want to be like nickeling and diming the guest like too, no, like, too much you know so it's like whatever you think is 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 fair and, and especially yeah. if you have maybe already a system where when you mix additional color you charge more like maybe then it's already kind of fits into that system as well uh i just wanted to see if i had i just want to share uh these with you guys as well um if you want to screenshot it what I love about our retail products is they all get their own profiles on Pure Pro when we launch them. Um, so, so for the uh, professional products, they all have profiles on Pure Pro that will call out benefits. They'll call out percentage naturally derived, um, the key plant derived ingredients, and as well as I think they have like a full Q and A on all of them. There's just tons of information on the retail products um, which are at your disposal. But I wanted to show you guys these as well. Um, they're kind of based off of that. So we've got our shampoo at 94% naturally derived. Like I said, even after the use of the shampoo, people were like going crazy over it. This is the conditioner they could use every day and then their intensive treatment would be on top of that. Um, so it's really nice and lightweight for everyday use, 98% naturally derived. I mean, that's just like wild to me. Silicone free, um, safer color treated and chemically processed hair. So you can definitely screenshot this one. And then the next one is going to be the intensive masks. So these are the ones that are gonna come in light and rich based on texture type and density. Uh, and these could be what they would take home for a, a treatment once a week. Um, they wouldn't need to use their everyday conditioner. They would use this instead, leave it in for three to five minutes, rinse it out of the hair um, to get a more intensive home treatment, kind of extend the life of that botanical repair professional service that you guys are doing in the salon. And then the rich is coming in this like tub form as well. And then the last one is going to be the leave in treatment. So repeat, uh, protects against heat damage up to 450 degrees, protects from UV damage. Um, I think when I was looking at other lines, when it comes to their bond repair lines, um, specifically Olaplex Louisa we were talking about, uh, they don't have a claim up to 450 degrees for their leave-in and they don't speak to UV damage uh, for their leave-in as well. So those are some pretty interesting points of difference that I, as I was researching other lines, um, I thought were kind of good to know when we're comparing the two. 99% uh, naturally derived, um, so really awesome plant-derived technology for that one as well. And I showed you guys this chart, I think, Oh, I just wanted to share the e-learning. So this is live on Pure Pro. So if you need to refresh anything that we talked about today, you want to access some of those resources or just kind of like test your knowledge after today and be like, huh, like, do I remember everything that Eva told me <laughs> um, that you can find out here? So it's a fun, um, I actually, I actually did enjoy doing this one, a little quiz to go through when we're learning about botanical repair. And then another one, um, Molly, I don't sure if you shared with Louisa about the AMAs as well. So these are three uh, times a week, these calls that are about 30 minutes that you can hop on at any time. Um, I find sometimes once we do these trainings, like two days later, this question strikes you that you're like, oh, I wish I asked Ava about that. Like you just think of something, you know, kind of after the fact. And these calls are just like open forum Q&A calls that you can call in and ask your question. And it's another person like me, a technical education specialist. Uh, there to answer them or at least find out the answer for you if it's something they've you know never heard before you stumped them um, but there are Mondays Tuesdays and Wednesdays and you just scan that QR code to access the link to get onto it there um, so I definitely recommend if you need extra support to hop on one of those uh, but Molly you can totally share my contact information uh, with them you guys can hit me up anytime text is best um, and I can just get you an answer you know as soon as it comes to you at that point you know, guys, I think this is going to be really important um, to really lean into the education and the support we have available to you on this this uh, range. This range uh, is expected to change our business and in turn will change yours. 
And so I really want you guys to take advantage of all the tools that are available to you um, for this range and for the, the education and the support that we're getting from our tech, technical education specialists. So um, please take, take Ava up on her offer of, uh, you know, being a resource available to you because she's an invaluable resource, trust me. Thanks, Miles. All right, cool. Well, thank you for your time. Oh my gosh, absolutely. And uh, before all of this went down, I was spending lots of lovely time in Boston, and I hope I can get back up there sometime soon and meet everybody in person. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, friend, you'll see me this week. I'll drop off your kits. So you can start playing around um, and then any questions and troubleshooting, I'll make sure you have uh, Ava's information and we'll get you the answers that you need. Perfect. Cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.